Hello everyone and welcome to a new full completion episode for Atom 31. This week there's nothing new, but a couple of returning cars like the GMC Typhoon for 50%, the iPace from the trial, a 16 Clio for completing a match of games, as well as the beautiful 911 by Singa. As always all the details and time slots for each event and PR stunt are in the video description, while any tune can be found by my gamer tag. For any questions, feel free to leave a comment or join the Discord server. So let's get on to it and if you'd like and haven't already, don't forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing for more Horizon 4 and other car games content. Starting from 21% thanks to Rivals and Ranked Adventure which count for all the seasons of a series, for Rivals post a clean lap for 6% while a Ranked is unlocked at level 3 Adventure and offers another 15 just for its completion. For the first 3% of the season towards 24, the photo challenge, hashtag housewarming. Take a picture of your car and the gables. In case you are wondering, that is the first house you get to own, so right here. If it doesn't work from the first snap, try zooming out a bit. I got it on the second try too. Next, for 15%, a quick and easy Forzaton. Kittle of Fish. Upgrades are not mandatory for this Forzaton, but they'll surely help you complete it a lot quicker. For this, you'll need to own and drive any cult car. There are many, most of them really cheap and even available in the auto show. For the second chapter, you'll need to earn 500,000 skill score. Easiest spots for this are the Bamberg Castle Beach, the Airstrip, the Rail Yard, the Mud Kickers Park, or wherever else you feel that you can bang them faster. Have as many goes as you wish until you accumulate them all. Third chapter requires you to win a race at the White Horse Hill Trail, which can be found here. For quick completion you can use a blueprint belonging to the event. Just make sure it is a trail, so point to point race to count. While for the fourth, earn 10 daredevil skills, that requires 3 near misses in quick succession. So I'd say highway, or this narrow road down Edinburgh Castle. Once completed, you earn the 15% and the 200 Forzaton points. Solo mode might help with this. Regarding the Forzaton shop, there is a 6x6 Velocity Raptor for whoever doesn't have one yet, as well as a good looking AMC Rebel. While well, in the backstage, the Bone Shaker took the community vote, while this week you can choose between the M3 GTR and the Mossler. The Mossler is one of the best all-rounders, but goes quite cheap currently in the auction house, while the M3 is quite a nice and usually rare car. So make your pick. For the trial, 800 Jaguars. There are a couple you can choose from and upgrade them to 8800. I went with probably the cheapest option out there, the XJS, with some 4x4, better wheels, brakes, some weight reduction and whatever else minor change was required to bring it to exactly 800. At times you might think you are driving a boat, but the drive avatars were no match for this cheap thrill, thus banking 6% more. The A800 as well as C600 tune can be found by my gamer tag available in the video description. Next, Atom Games in C600 Retro Hot Hatch. Pick whatever you like, since winning is not a requirement any longer. Just complete a games match at a seasonal location and you'll get another 6% and the event seasonal reward. 
My pick was the Honda CRX, but any other would have done just fine. Like the cheap GTIs, maybe. This gets us to 50% for the Typhoon. Moving on, this week's PR stunts for about 7% each since we're missing the remix. See how difficult they might be. Hilltop Vista Danger Sign, 623.4 feet. Pick an off-road vehicle for this. I did it with my cheap and lightweight Willis Jeep easily. Depending on how well you attack the ramp, you'll be able to improve your score. Just try to start from where I did for an easy win. Next, Foothills Speed Zone, 135 miles per hour. I'd say for this one, any car from my previous stuffed speed zone from Winter 30 will most probably be able to get it. Or get the well-known back mono, available to everyone through the auto show for not a lot of credits, nailing it even from a standing start. A rolling one will help you improve the score. And in case the fence stands in your way, you can always clear it. Well, for the last, the Roman Mile Speed Trap, 235 miles per hour. This is a rather easy one, and many cars can get it easily. Like a 40k tuned Esprit. Just make sure you start from about one mile away to get to the speed. You have arrived at your destination. Or get a free Supra for this from the Tier 2 Eliminator or the Action House. You have arrived at your destination. Or any car that I featured in a, my M68 video for Spring 30, like an Auto Show Aventador, as well as many more. So I'd say the PR stunts of this week are not that challenging after all. Lastly, the three weekly championships against at least highly skilled drive avatars to get all the rewards. Just for the fun, we're doing them against pro or unbeatable. Completing one of the three championships gets you over 80% for the Amori 356C. Supercars on C in S1900 Retro Supercars for the 911 by Singa. Since I didn't have anything ready for this, picked a stock Enzo, so basically a stock rear-wheeled car in the wet against pro drive avatars. Not to mention the about 30 minus performance rating. Guess the car did quite well in these conditions. Of course, you'd play solo, then the drive avatars would be adjusted to your car as well as the selected difficulty. Next, bug me not in A800 off-road buggies for a yellow biker helmet. The Aerial Nomad was my pick, with a tune made for off-road games. It was quite an intense and fun race along my teammate friend. Thanks for joining, always a pleasure to race with you. And let's not forget about the disconnects, shall we? We thank them too. And the last one, the Twin Peaks for the Volkswagen Gia. This had to be one of the most boring races for quite a while. It sure wasn't made by Elon Musk. Started with an Abarth, but by the end, since it was struggling to reach about 100 miles per hour, I had to go back to my XGS. In C600 it handles like a boat, but at least it can keep up with the pro drive avatars. As for the dailies, first 
at least one star in any speed zone. You probably already have it done from this week's PR stunt. Second, win a cross country circuit event. Blueprints work just fine too, as long as they are circuits. Third, three stars in total from drift zones, so you can complete for one star three times and you'll be set. Fourth, three awesome skill chains. Get to a good skill area, like the beach or airstrip and start messing around with drifts, wreckage, jumps and more. Fifth, one show off skill. Easiest to get from my point of view is in the first S corner of this race, pass a drive avatar while drifting. Sixth, three awesome wreckage skills, go through some more stuff and it will be done. Higher multi priors count too. And seventh, win a dirt trail event, which is actually a dirt sprint. And that does it for another 100% completion, this time for Atom 31. Hope you've enjoyed the new episode. For any questions or discussions, feel free to use the comment section below or the Discord server. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more Forza Weekly content. For any additional details regarding the events, they are also available in the video description. Till next time, have fun racing and thanks for your support.